What's up everybody? I'm a little bit late to this, but I did want to put a video out uh, talking about and going over my thoughts of Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, uh, which was also announced last week at Call of Duty Next. Uh, just busy, long weekend, so didn't get quite get to it, but I'm here talking about it now, and let's go over some of the details. So obviously, we know Warzone coming to mobile. Um, one big thing here is that uh, you get 120 live players. They touched on... Uh, in Call of Duty Next, how so many mobile games include bots just to make sure they fill lobbies, especially BRs with the bigger lobbies. But Call of Duty Mobile is shooting to always have 120 live players in your lobby and zero bots. Uh, it'll be interesting to see, especially you know a year or two after this game comes out, uh, when there's a lot less hype on it, how consistently you're getting 120 lo 120 live players in a lobby without waiting for too long. Uh, the other big thing is it says leveraging new unified technology that we are going to have cross progression between uh, battle, uh, at least the battle pass, if not, um, if not also the weapons, but also we'll have access to friends and in-game chat that are friends, you know, that are playing on PC, console, whatever in other Call of Duty games. Um, so they're really going to try to make it the same experience uh, as playing any other Call of Duty game just on your phone. And then they're going to have specific events, playlists, and content. Um, it says deep control customization options. So I don't know if that's going to go as far as like Call of Duty Mobile even lets you have, you know, your own parachute or what that's going to actually entail. Um, and so it says that it's going to release Android and iOS mobile devices in 2023. I don't think we got an official release date, but I'm going to guess that it's going to be on the anniversary of the original Warzone release. Uh, one of the big things that makes me think that is because we're getting like OG, OG Verdance back. The stadium's closed. It's not Verdansk 84. It's like OG, OG Verdansk. Um, and so here's what you can expect. Mobile players, welcome to Verdansk. A launch, uh, at launch players will drop in a legendary Verdansk map mobile for the first time. This is Verdansk, just like you remember. Dam, TV station, lumber, farmland, a closed stadium, downtown, train station. Uh, I think the train station is open though. Uh, prison from the snow line ridges near military base to the hot shop of superstore get ready to fight through hallmark vistas urban areas open battlegrounds and everywhere in between call of duty wars 2.0 map al masra will arrive in game in the future hopefully that uh map is really good because otherwise that will tank warzone 2 or they'll end up uh going back on this and not bring al masra but part of what's going to get people into call of duty mobile and they know it is going to be having people be able to drop into og verdansk again uh, roll up and take off. Take the fight to your enemies on the ground or in the skies with a variety of land-based vehicles and aircraft, whether you're reaching important landmarks with haste or needing some protection from enemy incursions. Buy stations confirm. Gather cash and spend it at buy stations scattered across the map, enhancing your armaments with field upgrades, kill streaks, revive tokens, loadouts, and help turn the tide in battle. Contracts confirm. Take on contracts located throughout Verdansk. These optional mini missions enable you to obtain rare loot, in-match ca in cash, XP, weapon XP, and help you gain the upper hand on the competition. Second chance, the Gulag, face off in a one-on-one -on -one winner take all gunfight and earn a second chance of survival. If you're eliminating for dance, take down a foe in Gulag, win and redeploy back into the match. They didn't say it, but I'm pretty sure, or I would guess, safely guess, that they're going to give you shower Gulag because they're giving you OG for dance. Uh, cross progression, so this now touches on cross progression. Um, Warzone Mobile is loaded up with many of the same weapons and operators coming in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 on console and PC. One shared experience with cross progression, players can advance battle pass and more. Uh, example unlock number one, unlock a new weapon when playing Modern Warfare 2 uh, or Call of Duty uh, Warzone 2 on console and PC and then access on your mobile device. Uh, example unlock number two, unlock a new operator on Warzone Mobile and take them with you in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2.0. Um, and then enhanced social innovations, friendless, and chat channels are also shared across Warfare, uh, War Zone, Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and Mobile. Uh, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile, built for players. Here's kind of a look. There's the closed peak there. Um, can't really see train station, but I'm pretty sure in the trailer, train station's roof was open. Uh, mobile optimization, everything from movement, aiming, and weapon handling, to physics, animations, and sound have been optimized for mobile gaming in order to deliver the ultimate accuracy, authenticity, and performance you expect from Call of Duty. So if, um, it's the ex performance I'm expecting, uh, so no bad hit rag, no footsteps, bad audio. We'll see. Hopefully it's less buggy than, than uh, Warzone 1.0 
or the COD uh, console and PC games. Built for the way you play with deep control customization options for mobile devices, you're able to pick up and play no matter your skill level. Mobile gaming professionals, PC and console players who want to sneak in a few more matches, and even new recruits who just need a little extra help getting into the flow of the game, we have you covered. And then customized content, the game will also feature a robust selection of mobile-specific events, customized playlists, and a variety of special content you can't find anywhere else. Um, and then just pre-register. Uh, you can only pre-register on Google Play. You can't pre-register, pre-sign up, whatever, on Apple uh on the apple store uh app store and then they just have if a certain amount of players all pre uh registered that anyone who pre-registers get this so if you have an iphone or you want to play it on an ipad you're kind of sol when it comes to that stuff um, as far as my thoughts go i'm really glad that they are bringing back for dance i wish it was in the full console and pc game um i'm definitely going to try out warzone mobile uh you know i have apex mobile on my phone i've only played it once because I'd just rather play console, but it was fun. In fact, me and my girlfriend bonded over at the beginning of our relationship over COD Mobile. Um, so I'm definitely not anti-mobile game. I'm definitely going to try it out, especially because I miss Verdansk. But with that all being said, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for more. Um, I'm going to keep uploading Modern Warfare 2 uh, information videos until I've run out of the stuff on the website. And then any information that comes after that, as well as Warzone 2.0 information. Uh, any information important regarding the current uh, Warzone 1. Uh, so hit a notification bell um, so you know when all that's uploaded. And let me know down below what you think of Warzone Mobile. Are you going to try it? Or do you just not care at all? Um, are you going to try it just because of Verdansk? Or, you know, just because you like mobile games? Let me know what you think down below. Um, but as usual, I'll have this blog post linked down below if you want to run through it yourself, as well as my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I post on Instagram and TikTok almost daily. I've been streaming almost daily. Um, so go and check those out if you want, but I will see you on Mobile Verdansk sometime in 2023. Get frying. Have a good day.